During this pandemic, a lot of organizations have canceled their conferences, their meetings, and even their trainings too, because the offices are shutting down. And now all the meetings are supposed to be scheduled online or virtually. Now, what is the most challenging about working from home is we were in a habit of having a one-to-one -one meeting, but now we're supposed to have this meeting virtually. Having a video conference call could really get challenging. Today, we're gonna to talk about how can we have a good video conference call with our colleagues and get things done. My name is Ali Jamil and today we'll talk about how to have an effective video conference call. Because a lot of people freak out when they're talking in front of the camera, it takes a lot of guts to express yourself right in front of the camera. Now the first point that we'll talk about is that we have to be aware of our surrounding. Now, if you need to appear right in front of the camera, you need to know what's going on around you. What is the camera seeing? If there is a lot of distractions around you, you can actually lose your focus and you'll be distracted from your point of view. So what you should do is probably you should close the door or close the window so that not much of a noise is coming into the room from the outside or there's a lot of light coming in the room and everything is looking so bright or maybe the room is too dark and the other person is unable to see that. So need to have a right environment, the right surrounding around you before you start a video conferencing call. Now you have to be creative while you're connecting. You know, you need to make some of the preparations before you actually connect it. Now, when I talk about the preparation, now before you get connected on a video conference call, you need to know what applications are you using. Are you using Google Hangout? Are you using Skype? Or it could be the Zoom. So what you need to do is you need to download these applications in advance on your system, either it's phone or either it's a laptop. I would prefer if you need to have a video conference call, have an application downloaded on your laptop rather than phone. And you also need to sign up to your accounts so that when the time comes, do not waste time and there are no delays and you can just simply smoothly connect through these applications. The, another important point is we need to clear the bandwidth. Now, what I mean by clearing the bandwidth, because you're working from home and there's a lot of bandwidth that could be used by other people connected to the same device. For example, maybe somebody is watching Netflix at home at that particular time, or maybe kids are playing online computer games or maybe somebody else is doing a live streaming of a video right then. You need to have the least amount of the bandwidth hogs within your video conference call. So you need to make sure there's no such activity going on at that particular time that will actually interrupt your video connectivity. So check your internet speed and make sure everything is running nice and smooth. Now one more important point is that log on early it's good to log on early before the time. For example, if the meeting is going to have at 10 a.m. in the morning, try to log in maybe 15 or 20 minutes before the meeting so that you can check your equipment that is everything working fine and smooth. Do not wait for the meeting to start because it will be really bad if you find out at that point in time that the software is not working right or the bandwidth is not coming, the internet connection is not working right. Try using the test features. Even if you're using Skype or Zoom, all of these applications have test features. So check on audio and check on video if everything is working fine. So if everything is fine and okay, you're good to go for the meeting. Everybody's time is valuable, whoever is in the meeting. And if you start checking, or if you start doing your tests of audio or video at that point in time, it will be actually wasting the time of other people so respect that so log on early 
Do not rely on your computer's microphone or speakers. It will be really nice if you can grab a hands-free or maybe you can find some really nice Bluetooth uh, speakers uh, and the microphone to use it in a video conference call because the quality of those things is much is far much better than the inbuilt uh, system has. Another important point is do not forget the charger because what happens is whenever we're using the application due of the video conferencing it tends to drain out a lot of battery and it will really give a very bad impression if you're just leaving the meeting just to grab the charger so have your charger with you before you even go into the meeting plug your charger in have it plugged it into the laptop uh, find the socket close to you and you can even find some portable chargers which might even come handy it's always good to have a backup plan just in case if your laptop crashes what are you gonna do so keep a phone with you handy so just in case if the laptop crashes you have all the application also installed within your phone so that if something goes wrong you can always get back into the meeting using your phone now while we're trying to have this video conference call one of the most important thing is the light how to use the light right well having too much of a bright light on a face is even not recommended or having too much of a dark room is also even not recommended so you should have enough light make sure that the light is illuminating your face one of the most common mistakes that i have noticed people whenever they're having a conference call what they tend to do is they used to sit in a room in such a place where there's light coming up from the background probably there's a window at the background and all the light is coming in from your back now if the light is going to come right from your back what it's going to do is it's going to turn you completely dark and black and nobody will be able to see because now the ultimate goal of a video conference call is that you want to make your point clear you need to communicate it right but if the light is coming from the back and, you, and if you are totally in the darkness nobody will be able to see you because face expressions are also important they say in the communication that 20 percent are just the words rather than 80 percent of the communication is done by your gestures and your facial expressions so if nobody is able to see your facial expressions and your hand gestures how would you be able to communicate your point of view now the best thing about the lightning is because nowadays we're working from home during the day the best source of the light is the sunlight so it is much advised that you sit closer to the window so that the sunlight can come right on your face now if you want to be more creative and if you really want your video to stand out a good photographer will not have the light come straight on your face they'll always have the light come from one side of the face and the other side is in the dark now if you want to sit in front of the window do not sit up straight try to sit on the side so that the light source is coming in from one side and the rest of the side is going into the dark because in a good photograph a very nice thing is to create a balance of light and shadows that's what the most of the photographers do so try to be more creative with your video conference call so that people can see you clearly and it can create a nice impression of you another point is while you want to have a video conference call you should sit up straight and then talk in front of the camera do not place the laptop on your lap and lean down because that position would show that you're very clumsy and you're uh, very casual towards the meeting be attentive sit up straight so that other person knows that okay you are ready to communicate and you're ready to help them or you're listening and you're taking feedback right now other very important point I've noticed is that whenever people are having a conference call what they do is everybody has their mics turned on and if there's something happening in the background the mic is catching that feedback and it's coming up into the conference call so if you're not talking the right thing to do is mute your microphone 
So be on the mute. So whenever you're asked to talk, then you can unmute it and talk rather than having everybody listen to the noise in your background. If you want to say something, just raise your hand, you know? Uh, even some of the software has the raising hand option. So it's okay to raise your hand so that people know you are you want to say something so wait for your turn to say whatever you have to say so it's okay to proactively mute the microphone because you do not want other people to listen to the dogs barking or the toilet flushing or the kids laughing or crying in your background some of the microphones in the laptops are very sensitive even if you're typing something you know other people can hear the sound of your clicks or of your typing so it's better, even if you're making notes during the video conference call, it's better to mute your microphone. Sometimes, maybe we need to cough or sneeze, use the mute button. Now there's, there's certain etiquettes that you need to follow in every communication, even it's, if it's through a video conference call. Now if you're having a video conference call, it's better that you stay focused and you listen to that person. Now. Obviously you're listening, but if you're looking here and there, the other person will also get distracted and he'll get the feeling that you're not paying attention. So the good thing is, look into the camera while you're having a video conference call, rather than uh, checking your text or looking here and there uh, in the room. It's better to look into the camera so they know you're paying the full attention and you're listening to whatever is happening. And it's even good to nod your head when somebody completes a sentence so that they know that you're acknowledging them without even saying something and you are actually being part of the whole conversation. Okay, one more important point is, obviously you're working from home and you might be wearing some casual clothes. Now, people do not wanna see you in your t-shirts or your sweatshirt, so it's better to have uh, appropriate uh, working clothes. I'm not saying get too fancy and actually go into formal clothes but at least have some appropriate clothing rather than wearing a t-shirt to a conference call. Now framing your camera is very important. Whatever is in your background everybody is going to notice that so do not have a lot of things in your background. It's much better or it's advised to have a clean plain wall in the background so nobody can dis get distracted what are the things you're having in your background so have a clear background some of the applications also provide you with virtual background so maybe you can even use that but even if you're getting creative with your background do not pick images which have so many things pick a plain solid color so you're the one who switch stands out and everybody is focused on you rather than what's in your background I've seen some people having a really nice composition of the background, which is okay. So frame the camera correctly and in a nice creative way. Another point is pay attention. Do not check emails, do not text messages while you're in a video call because this seems rude. I know we all love multitasking, but it's against the etiquette of communications, especially when you're working from distance. If you want to have your meetings to be productive, kindly avoid doing multitasking. Focus on one thing at one time. Very important to use some of the collaborative tools like Dropbox or uh, share screens because at times in order to get your message across you should be able to share documents and show whatever you're talking about. Another tip is schedule the meeting at the time when everybody is very productive. I would recommend uh, you should have the meeting done in the morning because at that time the productivity levels are high. So everybody is engaged, everybody can be more creative and everybody can give you more inputs which could be really valuable, achieve your organizational goals. So pick a time which is right and most productive. I hope these tips were helpful and they will make you get most from your video conference calls. So if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe.